Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to build a watermill house. This build would make a wonderful addition to a medieval village or acts as a great standalone base. This house has three spacious floors making a perfect base and it uses materials that are relatively easy to get in survival. Plus I'll show you simply step by step. So let's get building. The materials you'll need for this build are on your screen now. Keep in mind it's always helpful to have a few extra materials on hand and you might need to have some extra stone brick just for terraforming it to the river. Here is the outline for our build. You can see it's basically a rectangle and then we have some additional things marked in there for where we're digging out and where the chimney's going. We're going to start this build by working on these walls, but before we can add those in, we need to mark in some windows. I'm gonna come to the end of this build here and I'm marking in a two high window, one high off the ground and set two in from the wall. I'll then rotate around to the back. I'll count in two and add in another window. Then I'll count across another three and add in one more window. Just like this. While I'm at it, I'm also going to add in some temporary blocks for my doorway. And then I'm going to take a mixture of stone brick, mossy cobblestone, cobblestone, mossy stone brick and cracked stone brick and build four high all around this base outline to create my walls. I'm just going to be randomizing this texture as I go and I can go back in once I've got the basic shape of the wall marked out just to check I like the texture. It's up to you how many of each block you use. So just have some fun randomizing and making it look like this build has been here for a while. And don't forget that you can get a world download for this and any of my other builds by checking out my Patreon. So there's the first wall done. I might add just a little bit more cobble down here like this. And now I'm going to do this same thing around on all the other sides. So let's have a look at how we've got these walls. You can see they're all four high and go around this rectangle here. Then I have them stick out an additional three from these two locations. I'm gonna grab some strip spruce logs now and I'm building them up five high at the end of these two walls. And then I'm gonna come back three like this, just so it sits in front of this wall here. I'm gonna add a log on top of either corner at the front and connect them up just like this. And then I'm going to also connect in front of here like that. I'm going to grab back my stone materials now. I'm going to add one layer coming underneath here like this. And I think I might add a cobblestone there instead. And I'm also going to go one higher all the way around this rectangle. Once again, I'm going to be mixing in the texture as I go. Also going to add a little bit of texture to this wall here. Let's see, what does it need? A bit of cobblestone down here, I think, and a few cracked bricks. There we go. And continuing on to fill in this last section of wall here. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take some more strip spruce logs and build up five high in this next post location. You can check that these posts are three blocks away from each other. I'll then connect them up like this. And I'm gonna have some logs sticking out of the joins in these posts. I'm also gonna count three along at the back and add in one, then three along again, add in another, three along again, and so forth. And that should take me to the corner like this. I'll do this on this side as well. Now on the front side, I'm just gonna have them coming out in the joins of these logs. No logs going along the center. I'm also going to take some spruce slabs and join them along this way like this. And in here, I'm actually going to place in a stair. There we go. And I can also fill in the floor here. Next. 
Next, I'm going to come inside this build here and I can remove my door and place in my floor block. I'm using some polished andesite here for the lower level. It looks like tiles. If you're building in survival, you could switch this out for some polished andesite slabs and it'll be a little bit more resource efficient. There we go. I'm going to grab some spruce slabs and I'll continue joining them up between these posts like this all the way around, except I'm not going to do this front join here. I'm going to take some strip spruce logs next and create some beams going through the floor like this. Now you could add in a ladder or staircase now, but I'm going to come back and add that in later. So I'll just fill in the whole of the floor now. And before I forget, I'm going to place a few torches down here. You can see by using slabs to fill in this floor, we get the look of beams sticking through the floorboards. Doesn't that look great? While we've got our spruce supplies out, let's add in our staircase. So where we've got this one stair coming out here, I'm going to place a slab off of that. Then an upside down stair and I'm going to zigzag my way back and forth all the way down using the upside down stairs like this. When I get to the bottom, it's going to be a bit tricky to add in that last upside down stair. So I'll place in a right way up one and place the upside down stair off of that. I'm also going to use some oak trapdoors here to create a little bit of a railing. And on the other side too. And now we have a nice easy way to access our second story. To work on this next story we're going to place in our window locations. So I'm coming over to this end here and I'm centering myself one block in from here building up too high and again I'm gonna come two blocks in from the stone this time so I'm above this window and I'll place in another window. You can see that there should be a three block gap between them. I'll also rotate round. I'm gonna to count to two blocks in and add another window here. This should be above this window at the bottom. And then on the side where we have our staircase going up, I'm gonna count two blocks in and add a window in here. And I'll count one block in and add in my two high doorway. So you can see it's centered on this three wide square. We're going to add in some posts to begin these walls. I'm building up five high in this corner. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And then five high on the other side. And then five high in the center. You can really see that each panel is three wide here. I'm also going to count three back and add in another post here and opposite it on the other side. Then I'm going to add in three posts at the front. Like this. I'm going to join these up and at the front I'll come three back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I can connect these posts up as well. Now these panels here I'm going to fill in with some yellow terracotta. And then we're going to have a wall following along the outline created by the stone and over the top of this beam. And we'll be using our mossy cobble, our cobblestone, our mossy stone bricks, stone bricks and cracked stone bricks once again for this. And I'm building all the way up to the top so we have our walls all the same height here. So now we can see a bird's eye view of what we got. We've got our yellow terracotta section on this side and then the stone brick makes up the rest of this rectangle. And then we've got our exterior section over there. Like the floor below, we're going to add in a few beams to work on the next story. Just gonna add these in like this. And of course you can add in your staircase or ladder now, but I'm gonna go ahead and add mine in afterwards. And don't forget when you are building in survival or in creative as well, to add in your torches. There we go. And let's fill the rest of this in. Filling in the last square now and we can work on these two large gables. I'm going to start by building up one high with a strip spruce log and then three high with yellow terracotta. 
there we go I'm then going to come up five high with some more strip spruce logs and I'll join these over the top next we're going to add in a window and I'm just placing in a temporary block here and surrounding it with some more of the terracotta coming up in the center I'm coming up four high and then two high on either side with the yellow terracotta so it should look like this let's do this on the other side as well There we go. Let's go ahead and add in the front wall next. So we're going to add in a terracotta on either side like this. Then we're going to add in some posts. So we're coming one diagonally back from here, counting across three and adding in another post, counting across three again, adding in a post, and then again, three and one more post here. I'm also gonna add in three more terracotta in between these two, but you can see it's set one block out. Next, I'll build up another four on top of these posts to make them a total of five high and join them over the top. We're going to add a window into each of these little dormers. And then to create the gable, we're just creating a simple point like that. There we go. We're going to create one of these on the back side of the build. like that and now for this section of wall I'm going to add in three of my yellow terracotta then two stone brick and then we should have four blocks left to fill in with the yellow terracotta next we're going to work on this chimney so I'm going to build up an additional two blocks on top of these two spots then on this right hand side I'll go up another two and I'll use this to place in some stairs like this I'm also going to come behind here and place in a few more of my stone brick there we go. Now on top of these stairs, I'll build up four high. One, two, three, four. And I'll build up behind there to the same height as well. I'm going to place in a few more stairs here, this time pointing outwards. I'm going to go two high on the back two like this, and then four high on this left hand side. One, two, three, four. So we've got our basic shape in now. Let's add in a few walls. We're going to place three in here. One, two, three, like that. Then I'm going to come to the block above this stair, so that's here, and build up three high. Now centered on this block, I'm going to come around to the back of the chimney and place in a stone brick. Then I can place three stone brick walls on top of this, and you can see that's sitting one above this block here. I can place in my campfires now. We've got three of them for this build. And I'll surround each with some spruce trapdoors. So here's how our chimney's looking. We're going to come back down to ground level now and work on this part of the chimney. So I'm going to build up two high along the back with my stone brick. And then I'm going to break these two slabs here and build all the way up to the height of those slabs. Like that. In the centre I'll build up three high. And I'm adding two walls on top of here. And I'm going to place two walls on that side as well. Next we'll place in a few stairs. Like that we're gonna have two more blocks two more walls and finish off with one more block and you can see there's a one block gap between this block and this wall at the top it's almost time to work on this roof but first we're going to go in with a few of these stripped spruce logs we're going to be placing them three blocks apart all the way around you can see I'm placing them on the corners then counting three and we're going to do this in front of the stone as well Then I'll connect all of them up with some spruce slabs and I'm just skipping over the chimney there. Now 
Now we're ready to add in our roof and for the roof we're using deep slate tiles. We're going to work on the front part of the roof first and we're just following along the shape created by the gables. I'm going to start by placing a deep slate tile stair here in front of this terracotta and building across two blocks for a total of three. You can see it's sticking one out from this wall. I'll then skip over where we have these dormers and just continue on following the shape. So next we've got the tiles. Then some stairs again. And I'll repeat this process all the way up the height of the roof. It can be useful to have some temporary blocks to use here, or if you're in creative, you can just use some of your building blocks and break any extra ones as you go. So here I'm going to need to use an extra block just so I can come up to the next layer. Like this. I'm also going to grab some more blocks and I'm going to have them run all the way along the top of the roof here. And here's where we need to start connecting it up to this roof. So we're going to be just following along a simple stair gable pattern here. So I can go up to the top like this using my deep slate stairs. And you can see it connects up nicely. And in the very center, I'm just going to add in a couple of slabs. Now I need to connect it up to the larger roof. So back here, I need to add in a couple of blocks. Then I'll bring these stairs across and they'll connect up nicely. Then we'll bring our blocks all the way across and add in a spruce slab to fill in that gap. And then we can add in the rest of our stairs. Like this. Let's do the same thing over on this gable. We've got the base of the front roof in. Let's work on the back side of the roof. We're going to be following a similar process, except for this time we just need to build around the chimney and one of these dormers. For this layer, I'm making sure I go underneath the stone brick and right behind the chimney there. Now to fill in this gap. So we have to add the little dormer on top of this window. And we can connect it up to the roof now. Okay, we've got the basic shape in, so let's add some details to the roof. So underneath these small dormer window gables, I'm going to build out three with some of these stripped spruce logs and I'm also going to place one in each of the corners of this wall. Like that. Underneath here and here, I'm going to add in a few stairs and I'm going to extend this roof line out by one. So it's like that. Then on the top here, we're going to create a small point. So I'm going to add in some spruce planks, then a stair, and a slab on top to create a little swoop. Let's do the same thing on these other windows. Then we need to add in our swoop.
There we go. Now onto the larger roof. So for this roof, we're going to grab our stairs and I'm placing one in here. And then I'm going to use upside down stairs and right way up stairs to zigzag my way up to the top. When I get to the very top, I'll just add in one more block. So you can see, you can kind of see the back block peeking through a little bit. I'll also be building out three here with a stripped spruce log. And let's move on and do the other side. There we go. Next, we need to add some decoration to the top of this large roof. So we're going to start by placing a spruce plank on either end, followed by a slab. And then we're gonna create a pattern using a spruce trapdoor, followed by two spruce stairs placed one block apart. We'll place a slab in the middle and a trapdoor on top. And we're just gonna repeat that all the way to the end. If you're enjoying today's video and would like to access some additional benefits like world downloads and access to a multi-world server, check out my Patreon. I'd love to have your support. Okay, there we go. We've got the decoration across the top and we need to add in some swoops. So we'll add a slab and then a stair on top. Let's take a step back and look at our build so far. Let's add in some more details now. Underneath each of these posts that are sticking out on the bottom story, I'm going to add a stair and then a trapdoor, including on these ones here. I'll also do this on a stone where we don't have a post sticking up below. Coming up to the next layer, I'm going to grab some spruce fences and we're building them up here on each post. I'm also going to add them to this yellow section, just in front of each of the posts like this. Now when I get around to the front side here, I'm not going to add any fences in front of this post. Next we're going to grab some stairs and trapdoors again. I'm going to place a one in here and then two on this side, like that. I'm also going to place in a stair with a trapdoor underneath each of these beams here. And I'm going to do the same thing underneath this side, just like that. Next we're going to add some more details to these large gables. So we're going to add two stairs here and over here. We'll have some logs coming out of those joins and I'm going to create a small archway with stairs and a slab. Next I'll have some stairs underneath here and we're going to go in with a few trapdoors. Like that. I'm going to grab some fences and build them up here and here on both sides and I'll place a couple more at the top. Finally we've got two stairs and a trapdoor in the centre. And I'm going to create this same design on the other side of the build. Now we need to add some details to each of these dormer windows. So we're going to have a stair here and here on either side, as well as some spruce trap doors. We've got slabs going across the bottom and then again at the top, and then finally a spruce fence in the center. Now 
now to add in some window decorations. I'm going to start by placing a slab above the window and then two dark oak stairs on either side, like this. Now at the top for these small gables, I'm just going to add in these window shutter banners, the brown banners, and then I've placed in a design on top. So let's go ahead and add these in. There we go. And now we're going to use this same design on all of our other windows, but we're just going to add a window seal at the bottom like this. There we go, like that. So let's add all of those in. I'm just finishing off this last window. There we go. And we can go ahead and come inside the build now and break all of these placeholder blocks for our windows. While I'm up here in the attic, I'm also going to hang in my lights. So I like to hang them one down from each of these gables. And I like to have a few coming down from the ceiling. Let's have one on either end. And I'm going to count one, two, three across before I add in my next one. One, two, three. There we go. And we have some evenly spaced lighting. Now from the inside of this build, I'm going to add in black stained glass like this. And behind each of the windows, I'm adding in two oak trapdoors. So let's head outside the build and see how this looks. See how it gives the look of an old panel window? Let's head inside and do this for with the windows on all the other stories. So that's that story done. I'm also going to pop in some of these lanterns. Let's head down to the next story. You can come inside here. And we're going to add in our glass. As well as some lanterns. And I can break these torches now. Let's head back outside and we're going to work on this balcony area. We're going to start this decoration by adding in our spruce door. We're going to add some dark oak fences on either side and create a small archway with stairs and a slab in the centre. Now for the railing, we're going to be using some grindstones. So I'm going to place them so that they're facing this way like this. And of course I need to leave a gap for the walkway. Once I've got all my grindstones in, I'll grab some spruce trapdoors and add them on top. Now you'll need to hold shift or your crouch button to be able to place these in. There we go, all of our railings in. Next, let's add in a few lanterns. Here and here. And that looks great. One last thing before we start adding in our water wheel, we're going to hang a couple of lanterns down. Now I'm hanging these off of each of these beams that are sticking out. I'm hanging them one chain length down from these dormer windows and two chain lengths down from the large gables. All right, let's grab out all of our items to work on this water wheel. The first thing I'm gonna do is, go, is dig out this big rectangle here so you can see it's five blocks out from the build and set one in. And I'm just gonna dig this down one deep. Now I'll show you how I go about terraforming this onto a landscape. And if you've got an outline block, you can fill this in with dirt or cobblestone or whatever matches in with your landscape. We're going to start with some stripped dark oak logs. I'm finding the center of this wall, so it is the center between these two points, that's here. And I'm going to place five coming out just below that beam. One, two, three, four, five, like this. So it should come right to the edge of our hole. Now we're going to start working on the wheel itself. So I'm gonna count three blocks up. One, two, three. And on the fourth block, I'm gonna place in a planks. One, two, three. On the fourth block of planks and I'm doing this all the way around one two three four like this we're gonna add stairs on either side of these planks and I'm, I've got to rotate the orientation of each of these stairs as I go around to make sure it's forming a circle like that okay next step we're going to place in two stairs on a diagonal like this and then one more to join them There we go. 
Now for this one, I have to curve them around so they're facing upright here and I'll place one upside down here and upright again here and upside down there. So we've got the basic shape of our circle. Now we're gonna use a few trapdoors to round off the shape. So I'm just placing them on the underside of the stairs on each back like that. There we go, we've got a beautiful circle. Next, we're gonna create an identical circle one block across. So to do this, I'm gonna add in a temporary wool block just to get my spacing. And I can place my dark oak planks off of this. And we're just gonna go ahead and replicate the circle once more. You might need to use a few more temporary blocks just to help you get the stairs in the right place. And then I can go ahead and remove any of these temporary blocks. And of course, like on the other circle, we need to add in a few trapdoors. Perfect, we have two identical circles. So we've got the wheel components complete, but we need to add the buckets for our water wheel. So we're going to start by placing a trapdoor here in between these two stairs and then a trapdoor flipped up behind it. For our next one, I'm gonna find this stair right in the corner and place a trapdoor on it and then I can place a flipped up trapdoor behind it. I'll come up to the next layer here in between these two trapdoors. We're gonna add in two more like that. Then I'm going to find this center one again and I'll place another trapdoor on here. Coming up into the center of our water wheel at the very top, we're adding in another bucket. And I'm gonna add in one more bucket facing this direction. And then I want to have them flipped. So I'm gonna start back down at the bottom now. I'm gonna break this dirt block here and place in a trapdoor. I'll rotate around so I can add in another trapdoor and you can see they're facing away from each other now. Let's work our way up. We need one in between here. There we go. We have one here and one here. And then for our very last one, we're placing it on this stair. Now that we've got all of our buckets in, we need to add in some spokes. So I'm going to line myself up in the center of these two wheels. And I'm just going to place in three spruce logs coming out on either side. Just like that. Then we're going to have some dark oak stairs. Followed by a few spruce trapdoors. And then I'm also gonna make sure I place trapdoors on the inside of this wheel as well. It just gives the whole build a much cleaner look. Let's creep our way past all of these trapdoors. There we go. Next, we're going to attach this side of the axle. I've got some stairs and walls and blocks here. I've also got some mossy cobble and moss. Since this is submerged in the water, we want it to be really mossy. So I'm lining myself up underneath this part of the spoke here, and I'm going to build all the way up. Just like that. Then I'm gonna come to one side here and I'm gonna build up so I'm one block above where we were before. And I'm gonna mix in a little bit of moss as I go here. Like that. And I'm going to come two over to this side. There we go. Next, I'm gonna place in a stair. One placed there and then one above it and one above that. I'm gonna finish with a block on top of here as well as a couple of walls. We've got one here and then three coming up on this side. 
just like this. Our watermill house is really coming along. Let's go see how we can put this on a river. All right, I've put my build into my location now and I'm just adding in the last few details. So that includes adding some decoration to the store. I'm just creating a simple archway over it and I've added in my spruce store. I'm gonna place a slab here so I can hang a lantern. And then I'm gonna use stu two stone brick stairs to create a small archway. Okay, let's take a step back and see how I've placed this on the river. So here's an overall look at the build and you can see I've got my water wheel stuck out over the river by having the foundation come out into the water a little bit. And you can see that I've placed in some of the mossy stone brick and cobblestone underneath the water level just to tie it into the ground. I've also had to extend the bottom of here and the amount you need to extend will depend on the river you've built. And you can see that I've also decided to terraform just a little bit around the base of here to make it look a little bit more natural. Now I've gone with lots of greenery around the base of my watermill because we've got quite a pop of colour in the walls itself. So I've brought the colour of the walls out into the landscaping with these orange tulips and these dandelions and then I've kept everything else really lush. So I've got leaves draping all over the build and climbing up the walls and I've used some vines to do this as well. I've got bushes around the place and I've used some of these azalea bushes with moss blocks to create some small topiaries. And then in the water, as well as having the Minecraft occurring plants, like the kelp here and the seagrass, as well as some sea pickles, I've made these custom reeds with some green glass and a sea pickle on top. This is a really fun build to build as part of a medieval town and you can see that just down the river from it I've got a bridge house so you could build a whole village alongside your watermill along a river. So now you've got a beautiful mill house. If you enjoyed today's tutorial I'd really appreciate it if you consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out and if you'd like to get some other benefits and support me more check out my Patreon. I'd love to have you join my community. Happy building!